you might have seen a ton of smartphone reviews where the reviewers keep saying that this smartphone supports wide wide L1 and can stream HDR and HD content on Netflix, Amazon Prime or whatever it is. Well, while some of you actually know what it means, most of them don't. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining what is wide wide L1 all about and why is it important to be in your smartphone to stream HD content through all these OTT applications. So watch this video till then because it's going to be really interesting and fun. Without wasting any more further time, I'm your host Arnav and you are watching Tech Arena. So let's get started. All right, so before we talk about what is Wide Wide L1 all about, let's talk about what is piracy because Wide Wide L1 is something to do with piracy and all this stuff. So before the existence of OTT applications, movie makers used to publish DVDs with their movies in it and those DVDs might cost you a lot. And at that time, many local stores used to buy that one copy of that movie which was released and make it into 100 copies and sell in different formats. This is kind of a piracy where you distribute an original content in many copies. And to prevent all these things, there came in a DRM called as CSS which is content scramble system which is nothing but an encryption software which prevents people from copying content on that particular disk and likewise when OTT applications like Amazon Netflix came in they had to find a way to prevent piracy happening like from people taking screenshots and screen recordings of their particular video that is being streamed through their platform so then came a DRM called as Widevine. Well, before talking about what is Widevine and all those stuff, let me explain what is a DRM. DRM is nothing but digital rights management, which is a piece of software or protocol which is used to protect something against privacy. Like for instance, in the first scenario, we saw how CSS was helpful in preventing people from taking a copy of an original DVD disc. And likewise, Widevine is a type of security protocol which lets OTT applications to prevent piracy happening from their platform. So Widevine has three types of securities, L1, L2 and L3. Before explaining what is L1, L2, L3, let's explain how Widevine actually works. So Widevine works in three different steps. One is encryption of that particular video and sending that data to the user which is trying to stream that particular data. And two, that user must actually decrypt the encrypted file which was sent from the OTT platform's server. That is the second step. And third step is the license verification of that particular user and also decrypting and processing that particular video. So basically, these are the three processes which happens when Widevine is being used. The encryption and decryption of the software, the verification of the license of the user, and the third one is processing of that video. Now, let's talk about what is L1, L2, and L3. Well, these are the levels of security of Widevine where L1 is the most secured protocol and the L3 is the least secured one. So let me explain the differences between all these three. It is pretty simple. And before explaining all these differences, well, if you have come this far watching this video, then don't forget to drop a like for this video for the effort taken to make this video possible. And also subscribe to our channel by tapping on the red color subscribe button below and make it gray. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the notifications of our upcoming videos. All right, so now let me explain the differences between L1, L2 and L3 type of security. As I said in the beginning, L1 is the most secure protocol in all these three things. And the reason being, it requires a specific hardware called as TEE, which is nothing but trusted, execution environment which will be in your cpu that performs all these three tasks like encrypting and decrypting the message verifying the license and also processing the video and this particular hardware will be in the cpus that uses cortex a series cpu cores so most of the smartphones these days use cortex a series cpus and despite that some of the smartphones doesn't have that well i'll talk about that in a moment but yes as i said l1 type of security requires a dedicated hardware for it which is called as tee whereas L2 also requires TEE, but not completely. So L2 is a mixture of software and hardware verification where the hardware that is TEE only is used for encrypting and decrypting the video and also verifying the license. But the software part will take care of the video processing. So that is called as L2 type of security. Now L3 is the least secure one and it doesn't require any dedicated hardware to do all these tasks, whereas it only uses software to do all these tasks. So this is the key difference between them. With L3 type of security, you can only stream content up to 480p, whereas with L2 type of security, you can only stream content up to 540p, whereas with L1 type of security, the most secure one, you can stream content up to 4K. Now, as I said, there are some devices, despite having Cortex A series CPUs, doesn't have L1 type of security. Instead, it has L2 and L3. Well, it is because of the manufacturer's wish and will. Some manufacturers skip taking the certification from Widevine to provide full HD streaming. 
and the reason for that is all related to business because these brands think that if we give a low budget device with wideband L1 support then they won't probably buy a high end device and these brands use L1 certification as kind of a flagship and a mid range feature to make their devices stand out from the budget 6 devices that they produce if you have a smartphone that has cortex a series cpus based on the arm architecture then you can simply contact the support of your smartphone manufacturer and ask them to enable it so they will basically send you an apk which they will ask you to install which will enable the l1 certification and i've heard people saying that realme and uh, xiaomi has given their customers an apk to install to have the l1 certification because that device comes with l3 or l2 certification by default so if you ask the customer support they might help you to turn your l3 or l2 device to l1 if your device is capable and to have all these certifications the smartphone manufacturers doesn't need to pay any royalty to widevine it is completely free so it's nothing like they have to spend money to have the l1 l2 or l3 whatever certification it is it is completely free so it's just the business side of things to skip having l1 certifications in all the budget smartphones despite it supports it so yeah, this is the whole story of what is Wideone L1, what are the differences between Wideone L1, L2 and L3 and why is it important to be in your smartphone. So the next time when you see a smartphone review, then you don't need to worry about. Oh, by the way, if you need to know what type of Wideone security is there in your smartphone, you can download an application called as Wideone, which is available on Play Store and the link to download that is in the description below. You can download it and check what kind of DRM is there in your smartphone. Anyways, what do you guys think about Wideone DRM? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if this video was useful and helpful then don't forget to drop a like for the efforts taken to make this video possible and also share this video with all of your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it's very simple just scroll down tap the red color subscribe button make it gray and also press the bell icon to get all the notifications for our upcoming videos so this is me Arnav signing off talk to you guys in the next one Bye bye